Hey everyone, welcome back to the Engineering Toolbox channel where I show you how to solve real world engineering problems with some common and some maybe not so common tools. So in the last video, I showed you guys this user form that we're going to um, create to enter data into our project management spreadsheet. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys actually how to do that. So let's dive in. All right, so how we actually go and create that user form is we're going to need to go to the developer tab and then open up the Visual Basic um, editor here and that'll allow us to go into the design view of our user form here. So just to start off with you can see this is the user form uh, that I showed you in the last video that I created and I guess let me back up here and kind of explain what's going on. So this is the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications um, design interface uh, where it allows us to create these user forms or any other forms, different tools like that, um, and then write our code within this as well. So over on the left, you can see this is the spreadsheet um, project uh, that I created the user form in. And you can see if I go to um, the user form here and enter into that user form by double clicking on it. You can see some of the code that I have. Um, you can see the code for the OK button, different things like that. So this is the interface that's going to allow us to create our code. Um, and then I started a new project where I'm actually going to start from scratch and show you guys how to create that. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we need to do is select into our new um, VBA project here and then add a user form and you can see it creates a form um, in this design interface and we can resize that do all kinds of different things um, right away let's just go ahead and rename this and we'll call it UF main um, just because it's the primary user form or really the only user form we're going to be using um, by the way, these are your properties over on the side here. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping around. If you're not familiar with VBA, definitely go check out some videos. But for the most part, I'm just going to assume that you have a general understanding or at least that you'll be able to follow along and do this on your own. Um, the caption here is what displays in the top up here. So we're going to edit that and call it data entry form. You can see now that I entered that into this property over here, it displays there so um, our users will be able to have an idea what this form is intended to do. Um, next step will be to drop in some controls. You can do that by clicking on this toolbox button. It should display this for you. And then let's just start off quick with a command button can see it drops in a button there and then what we'll do is create some code so that when the user hits OK it'll tell um, Microsoft Excel where or what to do how we should uh, manipulate the data or use the information in this user form to actually edit or manipulate our spreadsheet or automate our spreadsheet so again we'll change this and the name we'll call it CB, which is short for command button. And we'll call it CB OK, because it'll be the OK button. Caption will be OK. Just quick copy that, change this to cancel. Um, and then we'll rename that CB cancel. So for right now, I'm really just trying to design the user form and get everything, uh, or at least a start of what it'll look like on onto the user form so we have something to work with and actually write some code for. So the next thing that we'll do is add a label. And we can click in there and edit this as well. That'll be the same thing as the caption then. And this will be called project title 
So that's a label, and then this will be a text box. And this is where users can actually enter information. And we'll call this txt project. All right. So now that we have something to work with, why don't we just go ahead and click the play button here, which will actually load our user form and display it to us. And we can see that it shows our user form exactly how we designed it. Um, I can come in here and I can type whatever I want. I can hit the OK button, but it doesn't do anything because we haven't created any code that's telling uh, VBA what to do when these buttons are pressed. So it's not actually doing anything for us yet. So let's just close that out and then it'll take us back into here so we can continue. Um, so let's see. All right. So when we double click on the OK button, it takes us to uh, the code screen behind the scenes, basically, of what that OK button actually does. So you can see these are the objects or the controls that are available in the user form, controls and objects, every object that's available to us to write code for. Um, you can switch over to the user form. So what happens when the user form is clicked? And these are the events over here. So we can say what happens when the user form is double clicked. And it adds kind of a subroutine is what it's called into our interface here. Um, but really, we're not interested in any of that. We're only interested right now in what happens when the OK button is clicked. So right off the bat, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the last row in our table. And we can do that. I'm actually going to cheat and just go right back to my other user form and just copy and paste that in. Oops. Okay, so when that OK button is clicked, what we're going to do is find the last row, and that last row will be found with this um, line of code here, which is saying for range B and all the rows, go to that. So the very, very last row in the spreadsheet, row 1 million and whatever, however many rows there are in a spreadsheet, and then go to the end Excel up, which is similar to hitting control up on your keyboard, and then find that row or return the row number that it gets to when you go up from the very bottom. I know it's kind of confusing and it's really hard to explain. Um, what we can do is just uh, put a stop here and um, well, we don't need to stop. I'll show you what it does. We'll just display a message box. And it'll display last, oops, our last row variable. Because what we're doing is we're setting this last row variable equal to the value that this code is returning. OK. Oops. So if we go back to our user form and then again hit run, if we hit OK, we can see that it's returning row three. So that'll be the next row below where the end of our table. If we cancel that and oops, add a new row in. And see that it should return row four now. We can quickly just test that just to drive the point home. We hit OK and now it finds row four. Okay, makes sense. All right. So now that we have the last row, what we want to do is actually enter whatever data 
is in our text box into the correct column. So in this case, it'll be this project column. So if we go back to the Visual, Visual Basic window, we can just say range B and last row value. So the value of that cell equals UF main, so our user form, and then txt project, that value. And now you don't really need these value um, functions or whatever you want to call them, but they're nice to put in there. Sometimes you'll get errors depending on how you code or what you're doing if you don't have that in there so it's not a bad idea to always put that in there by the way I'm far from an expert coder um, far from an expert in VBA so you guys who know better than me feel free to chime in and share your thoughts on what the best practices are here um, I know I'm not being explicit and defining a lot of things here I don't have a workbook defined I don't have a worksheet defined um, a lot of that stuff so yeah, feel, feel free to chime in and open up a discussion if you guys have any thoughts or any problems with what I'm doing. I'm open to criticism. So, um, But for the purposes of this, we're going to keep it simple and uh, just make something that works. Um, okay, so now we can go back and run this, and it should actually uh, work for us. So we'll just type in test, hit OK, and you can see that I actually added that right in there. So right off the bat, we can see that this is going pretty smooth already. Um, and you can see, obviously, that in no time we'll have a completed user form. I'm going to put a stop on this video here. And uh, in the next video, um, I'll carry on talking about what else we can do to, to kind of error proof things or add on to our form here to make it maybe a little bit more clear and organized. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, I hope you enjoyed that one. To get more videos as they are released, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure to like and share. And if you didn't like it, well then leave me a comment and let me know how I can improve. Last but not least, this channel is for you. So if you have any suggestions or topics you want me to cover, be sure to let me know. We'll see you next time.